Hey guys, it's Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create big vocal harmony effects with Harmony Engine from Antares. Harmony Engine is just one plugin that's included with the new Auto-Tune Unlimited subscription bundle, which includes all versions of their Auto-Tune plugin, as well as their new updated versions of all of their AVOX plugins. As part of my holiday giveaway, I've partnered up with Antares to give away two free three-month subscriptions to Auto-Tune Unlimited. Simply subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Antares Audio Technologies on YouTube, and leave a comment below. In a week, I'll pick two winners. Okay, so the way I prefer to work with Harmony Engine is to actually put it on a separate track from the lead vocal, because I want to just mix the lead vocal independently from the harmonies. So what I'll do is I'll just drag this down here, just duplicate that on a, a new track. And real quick, let's just listen to the dry vocal as is. Losing my cool, breaking my rules. I don't even wish they get so out of my head. Walking the edge, what am I falling into? Out here again, where do we land? Tell me, is it too soon? Lose so we're going to focus just on this first phrase here. The very first thing you really need to do is figure out what key the song is in. Now, you might already know that, but if you don't, you can find uh, one of your other instruments that has a lot of harmonic elements in it or chord elements in it, uh, like the guitar here. It's got sort of this melodic idea as well as a bass line in the bottom end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the Antares auto key plug into this and then just play a bit and it'll tell you what key you're in. Now, if the instrument varies a lot, you might want to let auto key play for a little while because it might start with one key and then switch to another key. Uh, so it's saying it's C sharp minor. Uh, that is indeed true. All right, so what I'm going to do is just solo the harmony track, and I'll add harmony engine to that track in stereo. You want to make sure you add it in stereo because you want to be able to pan your harmonies. And in the middle part here, you have four or five different channels. The first channel is just the input signal. That's just the dry vocal. And then you have up to four harmonies. You don't have to use all of these, but you can have up to four harmonies. For each of these harmonies and the main vocal, you can adjust the level. You can solo or mute these individually. You can adjust the pan for each one. And for the harmonies, you can also add artificial vibrato. Uh, I'm probably not going to be using that in this video, but that's just another option. Another option down here is to select the input vocal range. So here we're dealing with more of like a soprano type bright female voice. So I'm going to select soprano. And let's just see what this sounds like as is. Now the reason it sounds that way is because we haven't selected the correct key. So remember, auto key told us earlier that this is in C sharp minor. So I'm going to set the harmony source to scale interval. I'll set the key or root to C sharp, uh, also known as D flat. It's just the enharmonic note of C sharp. And then the scale. I'll choose natural minor. Let's see if this sounds a little better. So a little better. What I like to do is pull in like the bass line or pull in one of your fundamental instruments to play along with the vocals so that you can make sure that the vocals are staying in key with the instruments. Now, the reason why it doesn't sound so great is because we're using intervals of an octave, a fifth, a third, and then an octave lower. So let's just start with the very first harmony. I'll mute uh, two, three, and four. And I'm going to start with harmony up a third. Typically, I'll start with a diatonic third up or down. If a diatonic third up doesn't sound good, I'll go to third down and try that out. Then I'll try out different sixths, a sixth up or a sixth down. And then I'll try fourths and fifths up and down. I'll start with a third up and let's see what this sounds like. Losing my cool, breaking my rules. I don't even wish they get so out of my head. 
Walking the edge, what am I falling into? So do you hear how the harmony vocal sounds like it's a little bit behind the lead vocal? That's because uh, of the human eyes features up here. See, the timing variation is set pretty high. So I'm going to pull that down so the timing variation is less. You can vary the pitch. And you can also naturalize it a bit. And you can also adjust the glide of the harmonies. So think of each of the harmonies as like their own legato monophonic voice and you can actually add glide between them to make them sound a bit more natural. If you pull this all the way down, sometimes the transitions between different notes get a bit glitchy sounding. Losing my call, breaking my rules, I don't even wish they get so out of my head, walking the edge, what am I falling into? Let's try that with everything back in. Yeah, so that fits just fine. Now you could stop there and maybe you just want a harmony of a third and nothing else. There's no reason you have to create four harmonies, but you can create up to four if you want. Usually what I like to do from here is I like to try out a third down. So I'll change the, the second harmony here to a third down. And you can see these are panned left and right. I like to sort of equally space my harmonies left and right. Losing my call, breaking my rules I don't even wish they get so Out of my head, walking the edge What am I falling into? Losing my call That sounds pretty cool. Let's try a sixth down instead. So if you know anything about music theory, you know that a diatonic interval up a third is the same thing as a sixth below, but just an octave lower. And the same thing goes for a sixth above and a third below. So technically, if I do a third above and a sixth below, this is the same note, just an octave lower. Losing my call, breaking my rules. I don't even wish they get so out of my head. Walking the edge, what am I falling into? Losing my so if a third up works, um, a sixth below will almost always work as well. I usually just kind of pull it back in the mix, especially with female singers, because it can sort of sound kind of weird, you know, detuning a, a female vocalist that much. For my third harmony, let's try a third down. Let's see how that sounds. Losing my call, breaking my rules. I don't even wish they get so out of my head. Walking the edge, what am I falling into? Let me pull in the guitar. Losing my call, breaking my rules. I don't even wish they get so out of my head. Let's try a fourth down instead. Yeah, I think I like that better. I could really go either way. They're, they're pretty close sounding. Let's try for my fourth harmony. Let's go up an octave. That's what 8VA means. Now on the far left here, there's an option for the tracking options. You have choosy and relaxed. This is similar to the tracking options you'd see in any of the auto-tune plugins. So if you're finding that Harmony Engine's having trouble like latching onto the correct harmony, you can try pulling this down into the more relaxed settings. This is particularly helpful if you have a vocal that maybe already has a lot of processing on it, has EQ and compression on it, or maybe it's kind of like a, you know, maybe not the best vocal recording. Um, if you put this on relaxed, it'll have an easier time finding harmonies, but sometimes those harmonies uh, might have a bit more noise in them. Um, so let's check this out. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to mute the lead vocal, the input signal, and I'm just going to solo my actual lead vocal track as well. So all we're hearing off of Harmony Engine right now will be harmonies. 
Losing my cool, breaking my rules I don't usually get so Out of my head, walking the edge What am I falling into? Out here, losing my cool, breaking my rules I don't usually get so so this is what I was saying. I like to put a harmony engine on its own track so I can individually mix the harmonies separate from the lead vocals. So one last thing you can add on here is the choir plugin. You can add the input signal or any of the voices to the choir plugin. Uh, by the way, the choir plugin is its own standalone plugin in the Autotune Unlimited subscription. It's a modulation effect. It's kind of like stacking multiple voices on top of each other and detuning them, similar to the way you do like in a synthesizer. So this is actually a function that's built right into Harmony Engine for these harmonies. You can choose how many voices you want. I'll go with eight. And then you can adjust the amount of vibrato, the pitch variation, and the timing variation. And you can also add a stereo spread. So let's see what this sounds like. Losing my cool, breaking my rules. I don't usually get so out of my head, walking the edge. What am I falling into? And then you can bypass choir effect right here. Losing my cool, breaking my rules. I don't usually get so. So it's completely up to you whether you want to use that or not. It sort of smooths out. Uh, the harmonies a bit. I think I'm going to leave it off for this because I can always add choir on an effect send if I want to, and then I can blend the wet and dry signal. So that's, that's really what I prefer to do here. Now that's not everything in harmony engine. There's other ways to create harmonies. You can actually do it with a MIDI controller. If you like, uh, let me know in the comments below, if you want to see more harmony techniques in harmony engine, it's quite a deep plugin, uh, more than I can show in, in one video. Um, in particular, I like creating harmonies with my MIDI controller or with, uh, you know, a MIDI recording on another track. You can sort of side chain in the MIDI data and have that MIDI data control Harmony Engine. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see something like that in a future video. Oh, and one last thing I forgot to show you is there's actually a formant control for each of these voices here. So it's it's called like throat length. So if you pull this up, it, the throat gets longer and you get sort of like a deeper tone. If you pull this down from one, you get a shorter throat and a brighter sound. So typically what I like to do is with the harmonies that go up, I pull up the throat length. And for the harmonies that go down, I pull down the throat length. So let me pull this harmony down a fourth, uh, down to like 0.96. And then for the octave up, let me set this to like 1.07. So you, you get a, a bit more of a natural sound this way. It sort of gets rid of any sort of like chipmunk type sounds that you'll typically hear uh, if you try to pitch shift things without formant adjustments. Losing my cool, breaking my rules. I don't usually get so out of my head, walking the edge. What am I falling into? I'm here again. All right, so how you choose to mix your harmonies is completely up to you. Typically, what I like to do is I like to band pass them a bit. I get rid of some of the unnecessary low frequencies, some of the upper highs, and I'll usually give it sort of like a mid high range boost just for presence. So let's see what this all sounds like together. Losing my cool, breaking my rules. I don't usually get so. Out of my head, walking the edge, what am I falling into? Out here again, where do we land? Tell me, is it too soon? Losing my cool, breaking my rules, I'm going crazy over you. All right, so that's how you can use Harmony Engine to create up to four Harmony voices on any vocal. Remember that we're giving away two free copies of Auto-Tune Unlimited. We're giving away a free three month subscription. So just make sure to subscribe to me, subscribe to Antares and leave a comment below. And in a week, I'll choose two winners. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.